G'day viewers, in today's video there are some flat packs, now these are different to the last batch they came from a different supplier, different group, different company, different boards totally different, so we're hoping they're going to turn out to have more gold than the last lot of flat packs I did if you haven't seen that video, uh, it's not too far back, I didn't get a lot out of it at all hopefully this will change so there's quite a lot here um, I've got my industrial scales ready put that on there turn it on okay and pour these in see how many we've got to start with Okay, 4.10 kilos, but I can see there's a lot of solder and even some plastic, so that hasn't been removed properly, and I haven't been through all this, otherwise I would have noticed that, so I've got to go through, sort this out, put these in HCL to get off that solder before I continue, so I reckon that'll be down to about 4 kilos by the time we're done. I'll do that and come back okay now they've all soaked in hydrochloric acid and all the solder has been removed I am now going to process these and I'm going to do it in a way that I've never seen anyone do before I've not done it before and I think a lot of you guys are going to like it because I'm going to process these from start to finish without using a drop of nitric or any kind of nitrate so I'll uh, get the fire going and start roasting them All right, so I've finished roasting all these chips. There's up there. It's the most I've ever done at one time. Whole bunch and pot full of them. So now I'm going to crush these and then do a gravity separation. Now it's uh, stinking hot here, having a heat wave. So far the next seven days are going to be around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know about beyond that. So I'm going to see if I can do these inside. I don't know how much dust is going to come off it, so I'll give it a shot and if it's too dusty I'll stop. I may have to do it outside tomorrow morning about 5 o'clock or something. But I'll take it in and see. I'd like to carry on and get this done. I don't know how, how well they're going to go through my mini crusher. Uh, because there is some steel in there I've only used it twice once on BGA's and there's no steel so it was a dream they worked really well and the other time was on assorted ICs and um, other things like these here and I'll tell you what the, the grinder just bound up didn't want to know about all this metal so it doesn't like that type of thing but these legs are fine so they might be okay I'll give it a shot and if it doesn't work in the grinder then I'll put them in the dolly pot. Well guys I am stoked because this is working so well. I'll show you. In case you've forgotten how this works this one. It's a bit different to most. Um, see how the shaft is off centre because this whole plate slides across. Instead of having a cap on there you can slide it across. And obviously I can't fill this up with um, chips when it's not turned on because when you try and turn it on it'll choke but once it's running you can put them in no worries at all so what I do is I fill up this um, se section here turn it on and then pull it across and they drop in and you wait to see how good they go I'll fill it up now it's a bit tight squeeze here but better than being outside in the heat making sure you guys can see what I'm doing so carefully carry it across without dropping any wait till this is full at the top here Mm. 
No, oh, I've had it in the wrong spot. It's filling up. Hang on, I've got to go and empty it. All right, let's try again. See, you know that there's uh, no trickery with my videos. Show things as they are, not dodge things up like some people in their videos. If I make mistakes, I'll show you. You see that's filling up now. Okay, that's it. It's full. Now, pick it up. <coughs> it's heavy. Okay, I'll turn it on. Filter, a colander, sieve, whatever you want to call it. And it reduces everything to powder. Fine, fine powder. And all that's left is little balls of metal. Now I looked at this really carefully, really closely, and there's definitely no chips in there. It's little bolt bent up balls of metal and le metal legs. So that can go in that bucket. Normally when I do chips, I put everything together, whether it's a sediment, whether it's a powder or, or not. But in this case, because I'm not using nitric, this is going to be panned out, and this lot over here will go in AP. So I'll keep going with this now. I've got, I've got, you know, as you can see, a lot there, so I'm not going to show the whole lot. You've seen what I'm doing, so I'll come back when it's finished. So all that's left in here now is beat up bits of metal. They look like chunks of chip, but they're not. They're actually metal that's just beat to the hell into little balls. And, and then legs. That's all, there's nothing left, no chips at all. And the dust, it's so fine and fluffy. It's crazy how good this does. It's amazing. Fine, fine dust. So, I'll go out and give this a gravity separation now. And what I'll do is I'll leave it here. This will be part one. And I'm going to come back later on for part two because the hard stuff's going to be sitting in AP for at least a week or two. Um, I'll have this panned and I'll film it, but I'll show that in part two. So for now, thanks for watching and I hope you tune back in to see part two. Bye. If there's any ladies watching this and you want to make your man happy, I am a rock crusher. If there's any guys watching this who have a, a lady that likes to do it and you want to make her happy, buy her a rock crusher. This thing is awesome.